So I'm still trying to go uh, to go through uh, things very quickly and trying to put the Apple type of small series in three parts. Uh, I don't have any notes for this type of thing, and I I have uh, this recurring issue of audio, so I'm putting these in small chunks. It's not that I try to divide things or I have time to think and barely have time to think in between. I just don't have notes. Uh, but anyway, the third part is to do with the uh, hive that I see in Apple. Uh, I haven't thought too much about how to decompose this thing and try to put it in bullet points, but I believe the main thing that I worry about is that people start to assess uh, products based on the brands, like I explained in the first part, uh, and they don't so much think about what's good for the uh, competition and what's actually beneficial to the competition. So they, uh, on the one hand, try to choose a company or end up choosing a company that's actually very hostile towards competition, that's suing the competitors and trying to get monopolies in the form of patents. Uh, the second thing, they don't actually encourage the proliferation of things that are successful uh, from a technical point of view. So usually there will be this evolution of technology where a phone that's better is just going to sell more units and, and by merits of that it will set the trends for future phones. And, and things will improve. Now in the case of Apple, it's got all these DRM and all these restrictions in their phones and people will carry on buying that just because they s spend billions and billions in marketing and people think it's cool to have an Apple phone. Uh, from a market's point of view, and I, I kind of advocate free market and fair competition, uh, this is really troubling because it actually means company, if companies like Apple win, the customer doesn't exactly win because we are actually choosing products not based on their merits but based on brands. Uh, we are choosing one, as, as I said before, one that's actually attacking the competition. Uh, and if we are going to advocate all these eye devices, the things with the eye at the beginning, uh, we are in fact going to make stronger some of those who are hostile towards technology in general, not to themselves, but uh, we shouldn't be doing that to ourselves.